Hi, this is Todd Turbo Watts, and I'm here at the IBM Industry Summit on the Expo Solutions Expo floor. I'm with Mike Kehoe, who is a Smarter City Product Manager. And uh, Mike, I've been uh, watching this uh, operation center screen with some fascination. I was wondering if you could give our audience out in uh, Internet land a little bit of idea of what that's all about. Sure. Hi, Todd. Um, what I'd like to show today is one of the solutions that the software uh, group has. It's called the City Operations Center, and what it does is that we know cities are getting more complex uh, by the day, and we, but they've always been designed in silos. So you'd have something like water, the department, energy, transportation, public safety, buildings, uh, and so on and so forth. And clearly, these uh, silos or domains have jobs to do in the uh, city. You could have uh, maintenance, you could have in infrastructure installation, uh, you could have charging and so on and so forth. But as these silos operate inside the city, they can't operate as a single silo. They do uh, generate events, which could be digging up a street, that will affect other silos. So again, if you have a water main that uh, needs repair, you're going to dig up the street, and that's going to affect your transportation, which you will have backdrop in in congestion. And then of course if you have congestion you have to bring out your traffic cops. And then if you have your traffic cops out you're going to start to affect other people like people moving around the city in their daily lives, maybe going to interviews or picking their kids up. So clearly events happen in the city and there's a ripple effect rippling out into other silos. So we here on IBM say, well how can we, how can we help? Because we know that city life will always return to normal. There's always going to be another natural, uh, natural settling state. Tomorrow the congestion will go away. And then the next day we'll have another issue and so on and so forth. So we here say, well, how can we help that when we see the initial event, how can we help manage that to a closure with the less, less effort uh, and faster time? So one of the um, uh, solutions we've, we're looking at and uh, developing is the City Operations Center, which is here to facilitate that type of ideology but it's also to make sure that a city operates as a single system of systems rather than these uh, silos. So I'm going to bring you through a little tour and a little example of what's happening in our, our system here. Okay. So, um, nice front end operating system. Consider you're the mayor or you're a, a city manager. I've always wanted to be mayor. Fantastic. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens here is you come in the morning and you do a blink, we call it blink and think. You take a look at your heat map and you see, you know what, I'm doing okay in most areas, but I've got a transportational issue. So what I can do here is I can come over and, and I can hover and I can say, well, there's a transportation issue. So I can click on that and now the system becomes um, interactive. Um, I've worked in business intelligence quite some time with IBM and I, I love the little uh, definition of what business intelligence is. Business intelligence gives information relevant to a user for their beneficial use. So it's not just sending out data and hoping that people understand it. It's all about my beneficial use. So as a mayor, I've just clicked on traffic, and what this told me is in my city operations center, it's, it's told me this is the what. This is why I have an event. I have some traffic disruption going on. And that's been brought through some of IBM's products. In this case, we use um, NetCool Impact. And again, this is an integration of all our, all of our top powerful products. So what we go then is from here, we can scan down through the system, and not only do we know the what, we know the where. So the geospatial location of what, uh, what information and where it is. So it, and I move down again, and not only does it bring up um, where the uh, problem is, it's also connected automatically to the people who've escalated the problem and the people who can help. So in this case, I have some um, same time folks, which I can click on, and now I can start asking for more information about this problem. So again, I've got now, the where, the what, the who, and now about the when as well. So automatically the system has used one of our other products called uh, and iLogs, uh, iLogs uh, Charter, and now it's after bringing up all the bus disruption information it had over the last week. So as a mayor I'm saying, hang on guys, what's happening? This is the third time this, uh, this month that we've had severe traffic uh, on, a, on, a, on a day like the, a Thursday. So I'm not asking to fix the problem, I'm going to say, fix the cause of the problem, so what's going on, so we can see that there is. So if I go back up here, as a city manager, I have, in, in essence, built a small little dossier, the who, where, what, and how, and I'm going to start talking. Now, we can then uh, take a look at how the, oper the city operator might see this information. So then, this person will start to analyze 
uh, all the events going on, the severities, and start assigning. We don't design commands, we assign directives to the various uh, domains to say, hey, if you can help to move a bus because there's some traffic, if you can move the bus lane because we have some road works, uh, uh, in, if you can get that out, sorry about this, I'm just going to click here, I can actually send out directives. And the person then can accept, reject, or approve direct, which you've got feedback. And that's what a city operation is. Sending out information to the people need to know it, let them make decisions, and close the loop by feeding back. And then you just move on to the next event, next event, and next event. All right, Smarter City Operations and Actions. Thank you very much. Mike Kehoe at the IBM Industry Summit, Barcelona, Spain. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Todd.